we have our smallest resident ambassador, the northern saw-wet owl. This bird is full grown. She is an adult. We don't know how old she is because when she came in she was already an adult, so there's no way to tell. She's here because she was saved from a domestic house cat. Uh, her wing was broken. As you can see, her left wing there is hanging low. Uh, it's healed, but it didn't heal correctly, so she can't fly well enough to hunt. Um, but she's been here now for about six years, a little more than six years, so she's doing very well. It is unusual for the small raptors, like the sawwet and the pygmy owl, uh, it's difficult for them to survive rehab. They are very delicate, and if you can imagine the trauma of being caught by a cat, and then this huge person uh, picking you up, bundling you up, taking you into other huge persons who, to her, are predators. These guys think we're going to eat them because that's the only frame of reference they have. So with all that trauma, that's, it's, as delicate as they are, often they have a very hard time surviving rehab. But she is uh, a fighter. She's done really well. Another thing that makes it tough for them is cat bites have lots and lots of bacteria. So if, if, a, if a bird is punctured at all, even if it isn't uh, harmed in any other way, chances are good that infection is going to set in quickly. So, sawwets are found all over North America. They are very, very common. But why don't we ever see them? Well, they live in dense conifer forests. They are nocturnal and they nest in cavities. So how are you going to see this little guy? You're never going to see one of these. Um, and even if, if you were in the woods and she was sitting on a tree branch, you could look right at her and probably not see her since her camo is so good. They, um, <laughs> the females uh, brood the eggs while the male does the hunting for her. And then after the eggs hatch, she takes off and he takes care of the fledglings. Um, they may both bring in mice to feed them and I gotta tell you if you happen to be a small rodent this is one fearsome predator. But she's also prey because she's so small. She's prey to larger owls and hawks and falcons as well however since she's nocturnal she gets to avoid them pretty much. So the larger owls are the biggest problem that this little guy would have in the wild. Not to mention if she happened to be on the ground, you know, um, the other critters there are predatory, like domestic house cats. So we're fortunate to have this little sawwet with us. They got their name, it's kind of weird, uh, because somebody thought that their call sounded like the noise that's made when you're sharpening a saw on a whetstone. I've heard her make the sweetest little chirps uh, so I don't know where some of these names come from but so here we are she's an adult most people think she's oh look at that tiny baby owl but she's not she is full-grown awesome owl predator so thanks for coming guys there's our beautiful little saw wet and we'll see you next time